All right, what's up, YouTubers, Reptile Freaks? I got one of my good friends with me, Travis, uh, with TK Exotics. Um, he came over to kind of assist me and record a little bit, but um, I had one of my snakes out earlier, and he's been pushing a lot, and uh, I was just kind of inspecting his face a little bit, and in the process, I didn't have his head um, held on to good enough, and he yanked his head back, and somehow uh, one of his upper, upper jaw just raked across the top of my thumb and it cut my thumb open. It looks like it's all the way down to the bone. I still have good feeling in the tip of my thumb and I still have movement. I got the bleeding control wrapped it up. Just kind of temporary bandage my thumb while I've cleaned his cage and got him re-caged. Something I'm going to flush it out with is I've got a little mixture of uh, hydrogen peroxide and betadine. This will help kind of clean it out and get the bad stuff out of there before I bandage it up and close it up. Usually whenever I'm handling snakes or cleaning cages, I keep, mainly when I'm cleaning cages, I have a towel just tucked into my pants. That way I have a towel on hand just in case. Um, it comes in handy control of bleeding. And that's the first thing you want to do. But anyway, we're going to open this thing up and flush it out and uh, try to get her bandaged up. I see in there. It's pretty deep. And that's just from, that's just from the snake barely just, you know, he yanked his head back and those teeth caught my hand. Uh, like a bite or a bad defense bite from one of these retakes could be like way worse than that, so. But anyway, <laughs> God. flush it out some more. I think it's good. Let's keep going. Put some alcohol in there. I really don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't vodka. I know. I drank all. The, I drank all the vodka. I don't think I have any more. No. No vodka, unfortunately. Every now and again, you'll have people that say they've been bit by retics and it's not that bad like I don't know what kind of bites they've taken but some of the stuff I've seen both of us have seen uh, you know it can be very very bad around this time of year a lot of my males get really restless now, originally when I got into keeping these snakes I never had that problem and once you have so many of them in like a confined area uh, you know, I've got multiple males, multiple females, and, uh, you know, the bad thing is, you know, these males want out of their cage, they want to breed, and uh, that's the problem with, I think, one problem that keepers that have a lot of snakes have. I think it's super glued together now. Well, I see a little bit of blood coming out of one spot. I might put a little more super glue on that in that one area.
egg cutting scissors? Yeah, all purpose. You can cut eggs with these, cut bandages off. They're handy. Now we got some no stick uh, padding. And we got some Coban. Where's the end of this one? Here it is. Okay, here we go. Okay, well it's all bandaged up, so I'm gonna start taking some of those uh, antibiotics I've got so this thing should be closed up or good within I'd say about a week and a half to two weeks so until then I'll just keep it dry and if I take a shower I'm gonna cover it up with a rubber glove anyway guys hope you enjoyed we'll see you next time bye now